Okay. Here you go. Hey, y'all. How's everybody doing today? We wanted to uh, jump on here real quick. Um, I saw this. I think I saw this yesterday and wanted to share it real quick because we've been, we've been talking about this. And as you all know, you know, we do have a small beef herd. Yeah. And we sell beef. And we were talking about this actually last year when we were experiencing a drought and there was an enormous sell off and there was lots of uh, Internet chatter and video showing these incredibly long lines at sale barns that were, went for miles. And uh, we also talked about how a lot of that beef gets kind of pre-sorted, packaged and sold overseas for a premium. Yeah. So it, it gets squeezed scalped off of the u.s market and we talked about how this was going to create uh pricing increases in you know this is regardless of all this money shenanigans and hyperinflation and mega printing and quantitative easing but in addition to all of that with the drought and the massive sell-off um, yeah like like our our mentor Larry was saying, mm -hmm. you know, th this has a two or three year repercussion when these large sales take place. Then inventory is lower and lower, which supply and demand. Yeah. And um, so we're watching it now. What was predicted? Uh, this is from Drover. So this is like on the commercial side, and we're just a. I'm not real uh, big into all the commercial stuff because we're just a small. A small operation, mm -hmm. but cash cattle futures stage late week rally. A minimal early week trading gave the impression cattle markets would finish a disappointing steady. A late week rally in future markets, however, left packers ready to pay up. Cattle in the north traded at 184 to 185. Uh, CWT, that's that 100 weight. So that's the uh, unit of a measurement that they use with pricing cows mm. um and uh for, for live weight and 292 per uh for dressed weight so that's one to two dollars higher for the week sales in the south occurred at 182 to 183 for live weight and two to three dollars higher uh for uh, uh two to three dollars higher feeder cattle sold for two to five dollars uh, higher, so we're watching this escalation mm. of the commercial pricing, which is going to immediately impact and affect um, the the price at the uh, grocery store or wherever you all are buying your beef. And we do encourage you to know your farmer and uh meet your farmer and shake your farmer's hand and uh, if you are looking for beef in your local you know i think we had to turn off our sales for just a second and because we we kept we kept <laughs> we kept selling ours we kept selling our own supply i know so this yeah. month i said hey look don't sell a short we have seven freezers to fill um if you listen to us on the spearco interview you know we eat about four to five hundred pounds a month yeah so we got to fill these seven freezers you know this you know the uh old adage the cobbler's kids have no shoes well we've been experiencing that and so we're trying to rectify yeah. that and that'll be rectified here in a week or so also if you haven't um went over and listened to the jack spear co podcast that we had with him it was really really good um and it's pretty neat because he's carnivore and we're carnivore and everything like that. But um, last night, I cooked you a pretty dang good steak. It was pretty incredible. Actually, me and Buddy. Very excellent. We were practicing different seasonings and things like that. And we took, um, I forget what type of cut of steak they were, but um, they're really good grass-fed beef. And um, we put I put them in the smoker, the pit ball smoker with some cherry wood pellets and uh smoked them in there for about 45 minutes and then brought them inside and cooked them um in a cast iron skillet uh with lots of butter for about mm, maybe five minutes or so and then i let them rest for about 12 minutes and they were perfect 
and I got them right up to 135, 140. So they were like perfectly medium rare. And I saw uh, Carrie from Homestead How do that. And I was like, I'm going to try that out because that looks incredible. Life changing. I mean, it was. We, it was life changing. I always lamented. I'm like, how do these people cook meat like this? Mm, yeah. And I'm always terrible at it. I never cook it right. It's always tough. And um, since we've kind of converted our diet over, we continued to experiment. And we got one of these uh, slow cookers, these pit, pit boss. Yeah. It's like the stackable deal. And that is just incredible. It makes it very simple, easy, yeah. low and slow. You can set it and forget it. And uh, it is an incredible yeah. way and a very uh, simple way and not time consuming at all. You prep it. No. You set it in yeah. there. You turn it on. It was great. You let it rip. It's, it is unreal. Yeah, it was super it's awesome. And I tried one steak out. Uh, yesterday afternoon and I'm like, whoa, this is incredible. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get out two more steaks for dinner. Um, and that's what dad had to eat. And actually right now in the pit boss right now monster is brisket. a monster brisket, another like 18 pound brisket or so. Yeah, it's we amazing. tried an 18 pound brisket, um, last week, I think. And it was off the charts, off the charts. It was incredible. And it's very important, you know, that you, learn how to prep because you know people say oh is this sustainable how can you do it and you yeah the whole the same thing and all this stuff and it is just like it never does get it old. doesn't it i doesn't. mean it, it is absolutely incredible um i think the other thing is it's very it's very satisfying too because you put all this time and effort into it you know when you're when you're smoking it for 45 minutes which is pretty easy you just set a timer on your phone for 45 minutes and then you take it out and then you season it and then you put it in the pan for another 10 minutes. So it's almost an hour, you know, and then you get to eat it and enjoy it. It's uh, it's very satisfying. I really like it. And another thing we just did, we dropped another five hundo on StreamYard. We're yep. really hoping that it's going to up the quality. Lord willing. Um, we keep yep. uh, tweaking things. We, we invested a bunch of money in Restream last year and they kind of super disappointed yeah. with the audio and video. And StreamYard definitely uh, seems that the quality's there, and most people yeah. use StreamYard. So, also, also the other thing too, while we're on the topic, it's normally a lot to do with a lot of the problems that we deal with is our internet. Mm -hmm. So even like now, we only have one bar over there. Yeah, so it'll so be interesting. It'll be to interesting see the quality if the quality diminishes because we, you know, we live in the country and we're stuck with the cellular signal. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's usually great, but it's just inconsistent. So, um, so yeah, we keep trying to tweak stuff. And uh, this is a value for value proposition. So, if you do enjoy the information we're bringing you, yeah, uh, please check out the TexasBoys.com. And uh, if you are looking for a local beef pickup, uh, keep keep your eye on the website. It will. We've uh, we're once we fill our freezers, we'll turn that back on, <laughs> and which will happen next week. So yeah. It won't be turned off for very long. Yeah, so it's if you just go on over to the TexasBoys.com, underneath the Butcher Shop tab, uh, just check back in uh, next week and see and if it should be turned back on. It should on. be turned you back know, on. We were getting a lot of, well, not a lot, maybe five or six people said, it. wait, you raise your own cows. Why are you buying beef from the store? You know, well, you know, we, yeah. and we've explained it many times even in different interviews you know sometimes we were just a little too aggressive in our marketing <laughs> yeah a little bit too aggressive and even then even with just trying to time it out when you're about to run out and then when you got to take the cow to the butcher shop and then it has to be there for a it's week a or so yeah you know and then and that's why a lot of people don't do it and yeah, don't mess with it very which, true um and they're like i'm just gonna buy direct but from, we love the process from the so. farmer you know yeah. so it's just really exciting that we can offer this service to our local community and also for everybody else out there. Hopefully you can um, find and hook up with a local rancher and uh, yeah, and buy we're, direct. We're stacking uh, interviews for the Fearless Podcast. So definitely go subscribe to the Fearless Podcast. Um, Do you want to tell them about it? The last interview we had with Swim Simeon, yeah, and uh, from Simeon and Alex, formerly the Swedish Homestead, was excellent. It's actually getting really great traction. I'm excited to see that. It was a great interview, a great message of hope, 
and we want to continue to uh, share successes. Uh, our, our interview on the survivalist podcast was great. Just offering solutions and yeah. being the solution. And we appreciate uh, Jack's hospitality and having us on and just a great interview, but definitely um, put us in contact with different folks that you want to have interviewed yeah. uh, on the podcast, because I've been reaching out to several people. We have a lot of cool uh yeah. guests coming up in the near stuff future in the pipeline yeah so it's just working with everybody's schedule and getting on everybody's calendar getting it recorded getting <laughs> it edited you know creating yeah. a thumbnail doing all the things and having all the fun but it's a blast we yeah. love and appreciate our customers yeah absolutely thanks to all the locals that have mm. been uh supporting us yeah and just like patient yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a process. It, it's a learning curve. It's our first time doing this. So, um, yeah, it's it's been really, really neat. It's been really neat and a lot of fun. Yeah. So we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. The beef prices are going up. Um, if you're local, also, you can check the links down below. Uh, you can check our affiliate link for the beef initiative. Yeah. So if you're looking for a beef box shipped direct to your door, that's a great source for uh, regenerative beef shipped to your door. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a beef Super box. Cool. And uh, we should be posting some videos and uh, a podcast should go up tomorrow night. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the elites are definitely against me because it is very sustainable and it's a beautiful, it, it's one of the best ways um, to feed your body, literally. And it's incredible. And um, watching the 24 hour live stream, like the best moments and stuff, you know, I can totally see why they want to absolutely eliminate beef, you know, yeah, or and I intoxicate wanna, it with crap. Yeah. And I want to thank uh, Homestead How community and all the carnivores yeah. over there that invited yep. us on. Yeah. It was um, great. That was great to share yeah. over there. We're going to be incorporating and having interviews with them over here. Um, and we hope that. Other people like Blue Diamond, Bill, and some of our other subs are just uh, having these great, um, seeing these positive uh, health changes. Mm. Um, it's rather miraculous. It's such it's such a neat thing to be able to share something so basic and simple with people and it have such a immediate impact mm. on their health and wellness and that they feel better. Now, we just have to go the next step and create this uh, parallel society and a parallel community Correct. and create awareness to preserve our ability to eat beef. It sounds so insane. Yeah. Well, yeah, crazy. so it won't turn out to be like over in the Netherlands where they want to eliminate all of the beef, you know? Yeah, I just got a message from another uh, subscriber that he is in Denmark. He listened to the Swedish, my, my interview with, Simeon. Oh, that's awesome. He's in Denmark and they're immigrating over as well to America. I told him to keep us posted. Wow. And I'd love to um, get to hear their story, document it for them. Um, that has to be like just so crazy. That's so like surreal. coming over here. Yeah. And so we just, as Americans, you just take it for granted that we're here and we live in such a blessed place. And even though all this crazy stuff's happening, it's just still an incredible country that we do live in. And we're very blessed as crazy as all the disgusting cities that are in America, but um, we're just, we're really blessed. And yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. And you know, the, the whole point of having the vestiges of freedom that we still has is if you do not exercise them, uh, they will absolutely evaporate. Be taken away. Yeah. yeah. So we're yeah. watching that happen. So we are the resistance, y'all. Remember, we are the CO2 mm. that they want to eliminate. 100%. If you want to go green, you can always compost the globalist. And so. I'm the control group. And don't <laughs> uh, don't California my Texas. There you go. If you want some cool merch, check out <laughs> thetexasboys.com. We absolutely love and appreciate y'all. Yep. Hang tight. We're going to have lots of cool stuff coming through the pipeline. And uh, thank you for everybody that has jumped on the live stream like last second, uh, Lone Star Living and everybody else. Blue Diamond Bill. Uh, love you all so much. And uh, I think that's it for today. And if you do now. enjoy the podcast, uh, don't forget to leave a review and share it with your yes, friends and family. That it does really help. helps. Yeah. Um, and it's 
great that we're getting yep. some traction. Uh, and we, we do have some more. The, the last two guests I thought was really incredible between Texas Slim and Simeon. So if y'all are enjoying it, let us know, leave a review yeah. and share it. Yep. And we love and appreciate y'all. And we'll see you on the next video. All right. See y'all later. Bye-bye.